Duke six of seven in the red zone this year. Big package for Hines, cuts it back, touchdown Duquesne. Behind the block of Cam Carter, who was brought in on defense to play a fullback position there. He rubs out one of the defenders for Valpo, and Duquesne is on the board. It's outside in full dress. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> you know what? I know you have a lot of fun with that. Those, those shows are a lot of fun, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they, are, really they are. are a good time. And the kids have been great, too. Hari Crawford was fantastic first week. Brett Sonato this week as well. Shotgun handoff. Hines will take it. Try to bounce it outside of the left. He's got running room and he's in. Gets the corner. Touchdown, Duquesne. And an extra point away from tying this up before halftime here at Art Rooney Field. Boy, I tell you what, I'm going to look so much at that play if we have it because I think the guys coming out, it could have been Allen, could have been Conley the first. Fourth quarter underway here on the bluff at Duquesne University. And the pass goes up top, and there's an opportunity here oh. for a big gain. Going down the sideline is Griffin Norberg. He gets bumped, but might go all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. Valpo opens up the fourth quarter with a huge catch and run, and the Crusaders go in front of the Dukes. Lightning striking to start the fourth quarter as the Crusaders take a surprising lead here on that play. Two tight ends plus him. This is as big as you can get if you're Duquesne. Mm -hmm. And Carter is, in essence, pointing to who exactly he's going to block. I think it's going to go to the left side, Ellis. What do you think? Not a little bit. Oh, and Carter horse collared his guy. They wanted another hold. They don't get it. A.J. Hines into the end zone for the touchdown, and Duquesne takes the lead. So Carter jumped out from his fullback position, didn't get a clean smack on the would-be tackler, but wrapped his arm around him and cleared the way for A.J. Hines to get it. Let's see what Duncan can dial up he's got five guys in a pattern he sprints around comes our way throws it down the field and high intended incomplete trying to hit JD Kaler and it falls down over his head ball goes over on downs to Duquesne and that should do it